back to War Kovalev is, is supposed to be kind of the main course for later 2016. Yes. Kovalev is rematching Jean Pascal in January, I believe. So, is there any way Jean Pascal, he's no. with Freddie Roach, mm -hmm. there's no way he can. No. What is Freddie Roach going? Freddie Roach, more fighters come to Freddie Roach trying to get something new. There's nothing you're going to get. Because what he's missing is defense. See, that's the thing that would be killing me. So Pascal loses a rematch? <laughs> he loses because it's defense. Unless Freddie Roach going to teach him, Freddie Roach going to teach defense for real. Unless he's going to teach him something that got to do with some defense, then so he can stop getting his head punched in, then <coughs> no, he's not going to win. Because defense, well, I don't, why wouldn't he go to Floyd Sr.? I don't want to understand. Because Floyd Sr. is teach you did. Not saying he's going to teach him the shoulder roll, but he's going to teach him defensive maneuvers to take shock and move and neutralize some of the punching power. So you don't go to Freddie Roach and Freddie Roach all he teaches is offense and that's gonna get him smoked even worse. So Kovalev is what I, wait, what did I just say? He's gonna get smoked worse this time. Watch. So the first fight was He was, was dead. He was dead. <laughs> I just seen the highlight of this shit the other day. He was dead. He would he could have hurt that boy, man. He could have hurt Pascal. Don't fuck Hold on, who is dead? Pascal, man. Yeah. That, I'm glad they stopped that, bro. He was so hurt. they do the rematch. He came back to life. He but yes. No, he about to put him back in the grave for the second time, man. And I'm not saying that to shit on Pascal, man. But Kovalev has a great trainer in uh, John David Jackson, and they about to pick him apart again. So you think the second go round is worse for Jean Pascal, yeah. even though he has a new trainer and yes. knows what he's in there yes, with? Because he, what, what is he going to Freddie Roach for? What is Freddie Roach going to have him do to Roy Jones and the other dude didn't have him do? Oh, you want me to answer that? No, I don't, I don't want you it's to answer that. I want, the, I want the fans to answer that. What is Freddie Roach going to do that Roy Jones and the other trainer didn't do for Pascal? Nothing. So, they're going to teach him defense, and it's over. He has no chance. And I'm not saying give him some technical, super... I'm just, you know, crazy defense over just simple deep slip the jab, come back with this, slip this, come back with that. You no, know, which look at Kovalev's uh, strong points and try to take them away. You no, know, I don't know what boxers be thinking. I don't know. I'm not saying he's not doing that, but that's what you got to be doing. Or I mean, watching tape, hours and hours of tape, and then saying what he do, his mannerisms. You know, Kovalev killed a man in the ring, and and he's only thrived after that. So he, he got loves, better. He loves the, the fact that he hurts people. And I do too. Cause if I kill somebody in the ring, I'm gonna, that's the ultimate compliment. Cause I didn't use a gun. I didn't stab a person up. I didn't beat somebody that was weaker. He signed up to fight. He was supposed to be an even match. And, I, and, and the thing about boxing is, I didn't kill him with these. I killed him with this. And that is, I killed a man by using my brain and beating his body to nothing, and he's dead. And my career can only get better after that. I don't care. You signed up. Because if somebody killed me, nobody's going to care. Michael Perez, the Cuban dude, killed somebody, and, and that weighed on his conscience. He has never been the same after that. That's the lesson. You know, Kovalev enjoys punishing people. And I so enjoy Kovalev got the mean streak, you said? Kovalev definitely has it. He don't give a fuck about you. But so, you, but you would still favor Ward to beat Kovalev, even with the mean streak, the boxing ability, John David Jackson. Yes. Okay. Ward is just even at defense. the new weight. His D, yeah, his defense is just it's defense, bro. The speed, his elusiveness, bro. It's hard to hit the man. Ask Carl Froch. Carl Froch just said the realest he could say it, man. I would definitely have to work on some things to have the perfect night to beat Andre Ward. And he was honest when he said it, cause the the man is hard to hit, bro. It's not. Everybody thinks the shit is so easy. We used to go and put pressure on it. If it's that simple, people would have been beating Floyd with that style. But it's hard. <coughs> it's hard. <coughs> it's hard. Shout out to Dante's boxing. So there's levels to this. There's levels, man. That's why I work on my defense, because when you get tired in there, for example, when when Pascal got tired. He had no defense. So what was he gonna do? Throw more punches? He only get he already getting hit. And then he tired, so his punches ain't got the same yap, yap, yap. 
You know what I'm saying? So it didn't have the same steam on it? Don't have the same steam. He tired, so he couldn't even rest because he don't have no defense. Only he's trying to do is put more output, and that's just going to get him hit more and more and more. You know, when you got defense, you can rest, slip, slip, step around, box. You know what I'm saying? Get on your jab. So get your moving. second win, maybe? Get your second win. See what's working. Okay, I need to rest for a second. Get on your jab. Start working your jab. Get on your Apollo Creed. That's what we call it. Like, you know, how Muhammad Ali be dancing, Apollo Creed be, Apollo Creed be dancing. Apollo? The dead one? Yeah, that, but that's what we call it. That's what we, me, and, me and my dude call when you get on your toes. You call it get on your Creed. Get on your Apollo Creed. I heard you saying that. Yeah, too. yeah, get on your Creed. You can get up on your toes. When you, when you got defense and you know how to use different things, you can do that to you know, take a rest. But if you don't have no defense, how do you rest? You gotta try to hold the man and do all this. No, I mean, they're still gonna be hitting you. That's why defense is the most important. Cause you can turn defense into offense, but you can't use offense as defense. So it only you works one offense way? as your defense. No, because when somebody takes something away from you, then what do you do? You try to do something, no, this doesn't work like that. And then when you lose your, your, your athleticism and your reflexes, it's over.